14 years of sickness got reversed by just one year of using integrated natural therapy. Uh, so I come from that background and that's what I'm going to share with you, some important, very important principles in life um, that uh, you need to follow. And not only now for this uh, uh, pandemic, but um, more of uh, the right choices in life that become your lifestyle, okay? Uh, which will give you, um, which will help you reverse illnesses, uh, give you high immunity, and a long life with, you know, vibrant energy. So, one of the first things that um, we have got very wrong are our understanding about food. Now, if you uh, want to understand uh, what is human, uh, you know, food for human beings, that that I have a TEDx talk on that, which has crossed 2 million views. Okay, so go on the... Uh, uh, YouTube and you'll find my TEDx talk. Uh, it is called How I Cured My Illnesses and Reverse Aging. But the main topic of that uh, video is um, just a 15 minute video. It's, it's about what is food for human beings. Okay, and it's an interactive uh, experiment that I'm doing with you. You know, when you watch that video, you will see it's an experiment happening with you, and I'm asking you some questions. And just by asking you some questions, you start getting a deeper understanding of what is food for human beings all across the planet. Okay. And um, this, this has been the truth since the time of Adam and Eve. You know, first human being, it is the truth now. And as long as human beings remain human beings, um, it will continue to give you the same results. And it shows a uh, Kind of a hierarchy. Of food. So, um, yeah. Now, from that experiment, and also uh, what I'm talking about now, I'm going to take you through a uh, three, four steps of what I call the natural health therapy. That's a chapter in my book, um, Become Healthier Extinct, uh, which is a free download on the internet uh, from my website. You just have to go to www.becomehealthyorexchange.com. And what I'm talking uh, about is that chapter. In that chapter, I'm talking of just four steps of uh, therapy for you to heal. And the first step is stop doing the wrong thing to the human body. Okay? Because may many people don't know several categories of wrong things, what we're doing, and that's what I'm going to talk about right now. Um, sorry, I just I just uh, got distracted. I don't want to turn my camera, but I'm sitting in my balcony right now, and I saw a garden snake <laughs> move across. Um, not harmful at all, you know. They don't bite, uh, but they are beautiful. So um, now, in this uh, uh, topic, uh, the first step is, uh, like I mentioned, stop doing the wrong things to the human body. Uh, the next step is start doing the right, making the right choices in alignment with the human body. Now, there are many people in the world who don't know the specific things that are being done, you know, very wrong things for the human body, which I'm going to share with you now. And they keep on doing those things. So, what is the result? It engages the immune system and, you know, the human body starts fighting those wrong foods. Uh, so that is the first step and when people don't know that they just go on to the next step which is doing the right things and in the category of food they think you know getting all the super foods from all over the world or you know uh, of popping supplements uh, is the solution now that only helps to an extent but you have to understand that all the good food has to make up for all the damage that you are doing to the bad food Okay, so you're really overworking your digestive system, spending more time and energy and money to overcome those bad choices of food. Um, so I'll get into that. So that's the second step is uh, start doing the right things. The third uh, step is... Daryl? Daryl? Yes? Uh, can, you, can you speak a bit louder or something? Because everyone is having a bit of an issue with the audio. We don't hear very well. Okay, let me just see That's if there better. is a volume sitting on this. Uh, is it okay now? It's better. 
I don't know. I, okay, I, hear, you, I hear you better. Okay, okay. If you can get it closer to the microphone. Yeah, uh, okay. I'll just get the mic closer. Is that better now? Yes. It's kind of twisted, so I'll just fix it. Okay. So, yes. So now, the third step I was saying is about, um, you know, cleaning your internal organs of all the junk that you have put inside. So that's a detox therapy or cleanse therapy. Because once you follow the first two steps, you know, you stop doing the, eating the wrong foods or doing the wrong things to the human body. And the next step, then you start doing the right things. Uh, still, there remain some things clogged in your like kidney stones or gallbladder stones or acidic uh, waste still there in some corners of your intestine. Um, so in the third step, you uh, use natural uh, processes and herbs to clean out that junk that is left behind and um, that will really heal your body very deeply and that's one of the reasons that I went through a reverse aging process okay so cleaning up your liver your lungs your, your kidneys your intestine digestive tract really rejuvenates your body and the last step is using uh, mechanisms uh, that you know uh, uh, move energy to the human body rapidly. So that's exercise or yoga, meditation, acupressure, acupuncture, all of those therapies. So these four stages are for anybody who is having any kind of uh, sickness uh, and uh, you may need to follow these steps, you know, uh, for three, four months till you heal completely of any illness. And... Um, this is a detail in this chapter in my book called The Natural Health Therapy. So you can refer to it for uh, all those details. But now coming back to uh, the main thing about food. What are we doing wrong in food that is, uh, you know, uh, blocking our immunity? So from once you watch my TEDx talk, you will uh, uh, see that uh, the first step is, uh, you know, uh, I teach about nutrition. I teach um, at the top level what is food for all human beings. You know, that's common. Then after that, the next level of education is uh, if you are in a phase of sickness, uh, what you should be eating now, what you should not be eating. Okay, so you may have to be on a kind of a little altered diet till your um, healing phase is complete. And then after that, once you're healed, then you just need to fine-tune your diet as per your body type. Okay, so balancing the five elements within your body, that's earth, water, fire, air, space, you know, balancing all of them. And uh, that actually happens, one of the main channels is through food. So people who have too much water or earth element, they put on a lot of weight. Okay, so how to balance and minimize, bring down that, water and earth element um, it's a deeper science and uh, it existed in india since the time of ayurveda and was taught four thousand years back okay it's very simple to understand that um, you know from the time you were born uh, and you were on breast milk you know even the milk had the five elements of earth water fire air and space but the most prominent element was obviously water. The next is earth, then fire, then air, and then space in decreasing proportion. And then after you get off breast milk, probably you're eating fruits and nuts. Now, if you eat a nut, that's got um, the highest earth element. And the next is water element, because you know when you squeeze the nut, you do get oil. And then fire, air, and space. So we are made of made up of all the natural five elements uh, that come into our bodies, that do all of the things that we want. And after life is over and we're dead, then somebody puts a dead body into the ground, you know, it returns back to the elements. So, uh, the TEDx talk will give you an idea of that um, very clearly, that uh, one of the first primary food, foods for human beings are 
fruits, vegetables, and it will give you the hi hierarchy, you know, nuts, beans, peas, roots, grains. And finally, on the extreme uh, are meats, which I say are not uh, food for human being at, beings at all. Okay, so that's one of the things that people need to clean up in their diet. And you can see now how most of these uh, influencers and flus, you know, uh, whether it's swine flu, bird flu, foot and mouth disease or mad cow disease, all of them have come from the animal and bird kingdom. And recently also, everybody knows about coronavirus happening in Wuhan and coming from a wet uh, market, which is an animal market. Okay, so we have to, this is a big, you know, warning to human beings to really check uh, put a check on their meat consumption. So, now there may be many people wondering about, you know, how do you get protein and, and oils? But the fact is that not only all protein, but all food is made by plants. Okay, and uh, you have the five elements going into the plants and the plants are eaten by human beings and animals. Okay, so all your minerals, vitamins, your fiber, your oils, your fats, everything, they are made by plants. Okay, and um, there have been very vegetarians on this planet since, you know, eons. They're doing absolutely fine. And um, even vegans, and I'm a vegan too, uh, so that's a vegetarian who does not eat any animal products or even drink anything like milk, eggs, honey, or any of that. Okay, so when you really get to the deeper research and the truth of food, you will see that human beings do not need any animal products whatsoever. Okay, so that's my first tip on uh, uh, healthy food. Um, because um, you mix, uh, they take a lot more energy to digest. Uh, the human body tries to fight them. And it's also creating acidic conditions in the human body. Okay, so that's hitting your immunity. So the second thing I want to talk about um, in food, one of the most damaging uh, food across the planet is uh, milk and milk products. And that is from animals, mainly cows and uh, buffaloes. And on page uh, 120 to 125 of my book, you'll get the entire details and reality of uh, how milk is causing and contributing so, to so many illnesses like sinus, uh, chronic cough and cold. So that is something you should really be worried about right now. Also cataract, glaucoma, acidity, diabetes, obesity, you know, uh, arthritis, uh, kidney stone. The list is endless. You'll get the details in that section, uh, page 120 to 125 of my book. And leading books in the world and research is showing that you have the same evidence. And finally, you have to look at the bottom line. You know, people say that, oh, people have theories about it. But the bottom line is, if you get off milk and milk products completely, and if you've been having a lot of it, then within 15 days, you'll see amazing health improvement in your body. Okay, so that's the second, you know, one of the biggest. Uh, this book also called Milk the Silent Killer by Dr. N.K. Sharma. So read that. Okay, also the China diet. Um, and there are so many amazing movies too that are there on Netflix. So now in the next category of what is engaging your immune system and, you know, um, uh, your acidity, okay, trying to maintain your body as alkaline, you know, that's done by your blood. Your blood is engaging your entire immune system also to do that. So, one of the things that is very highly acidic is processed sugar in any form that you put inside your body, okay? So, top of the list is uh, soft drinks like uh, Coke, Mirinda, and Pepsi, okay? Now, you'll wonder, and it's a fact, you know, everybody swears they've got a sweet tooth, everybody in the world, and they, that's why they need chocolates, and they need, you know, uh, all the milkshakes and you know so many kind of uh, sweet treats why because um, you know don't get it wrong 
a sweet tooth is not something from your dna or your personality type or something that you got from your father or your grandmother okay it's not hereditary it's not dna if you have a sweet tooth it means your body is deficient in certain things that should give it natural sweetness and when you reflect on my tedx talk you will understand why fruits are the primary food of human being and those human beings who do, do not eat fruits on a daily level okay they are going to have this sickness called sweet tooth and then they are going to be having a lot of these foods in which processed sugar is added which is highly acidic and damages blood ph and disturbs your immune system it also leaches out alkaline minerals through your blood from your bones like calcium so there are people ha- who have got arthritis and they are taking calcium supplements on uh, a daily basis and wondering why it's not enough and why their bones are still crumbling these are typically the people who are eating heavy meat diet which is acidic uh, which leaches out again minerals you know like calcium and magnesium and the second thing is they are eating the sugary things on a daily basis so to get rid of the sweet tooth what you need to do is have enough fruits every day okay and that quantity on average is equivalent to about 5 apples or you know 5 bananas or 8 chikus or maybe one and a half watermelon now who's who's doing that quantity of fruit every day hardly anybody that's why almost everybody has deficient in natural sugars and as for a sweet tooth okay so if you have this much amount of fruit on a daily basis it will take you 21 or 22 days for all the reserves of your lifetime that are deficient okay to get filled up and then on the 22nd 23rd day you see you don't have a sweet tooth and you don't you are not really going for those uh, chocolates okay so do that big favor to yourself have fruits uh in the morning as your first breakfast and um, you know get the natural sugars in your body that the human body needs now um, the next thing that is um, so very harmful to the human body disturbing the heart creating plaque and cholesterol in the arteries and of course again that engages the immune system is too much of fried food okay now all of these things that i teach they follow living principles in nature okay so if i if you reflect on milk you know there is no mammal on this planet besides the misinformed human being there's no an- mammal on this planet who drinks milk after the age of 3 years so that is a living principle okay similarly there is no living thing on this planet who fries their food and uh, okay so so where do, for example uh, where we will get our oil from look at the monkeys the chimpanzees and the apes you know where do they get their natural oil from from the food that they eat there are oils that are present in you know nuts and barks of trees and roots and grains and seeds and peas and all of that and fruits also like avocado and vegetables too so bring down as far as possible your you know your fried foods and of course you can have cooked food uh, many people thought to my tedx talk that i'm talking only about eating raw foods but uh, no that's that's not the case i forgot <laughs> I forgot the last few couple of lines in my TEDx talk towards the end, where I said that I wanted to say that uh, we uh, do need to have some amount of cooked food also, and you don't need to fry it. You can have, you know, bake, boil, roast, steam, and nowadays you have the air fryer also. So you got five other modalities of having cooked food. You can use them. So. so fried food i said is uh, one of the uh, really things that damages the human body on a daily basis also partly the cause of diabetes and so many other illnesses the next thing i want to talk about is um, 
processed food you see uh, now what is the living principle in that decomposition decomposition is a principle in nature that's followed everywhere you know uh, the leaves or fruit fall down from a tree if nobody picks it up you know it decomposes into the soil even life like animals they come they grow they do their thing and then then they are dead they decompose back to the earth and because everything decomposes that's why the you know diameter of the earth <laughs> doesn't increase so um now what are we doing with our food with regards to breaking the laws of natural laws of decomposition now it's going to be summer time in uh, goa you know it's we all already started the summer and uh, we're getting these mango flowers and the mangoes are just coming so any fruit for example like a mango what is the shelf life of a mango if you go to see from by the time it you know when it's raw not even the monkey or the crow or the bat uh, tries to bite into it but when it when it gets ripe and it's ready to fall in a couple of days that's when they have it and that's when we harvest it so by the time it's getting ripe and ready to pluck is probably just 2 3 days and uh, if you don't pluck it off the tree it's going to fall down and decompose and another you know start decomposing because of the critters in the soil um in another 2 3 days so you have the natural life of a mango that's just about shelf life is just about 4 to 5 days but what do human beings do what do you mean yeah so what do human beings do i request everybody to put their mics on mute please go to your screen and uh, mute your self because i can hear some people talking in background so that's disturbing my uh, what i'm saying okay we'll open up for discussions later once i complete you know some of these things okay i got a list of things here on paper that i just want to finish with and give you the right information first and then i'll answer questions so um yeah so i was uh, came to package food products and uh, so that the natural shelf life of mangoes for example is 5 days and a chiku may have a different time apple orange everything okay even vegetables that grow you know they are going to die and get into the ground sometime but human beings are not satisfied with this we don't care about what is happening in nature that is designed by god or by the cosmos or by you know gaia what we call mother earth and um, those are living principles and re- real laws and uh, that's what i call the hand of god as well it's flowing through all things so now you have human beings who don't care a damn about gaia or nature or the hand of god and they take that mango and say that you know we want to have this mango not only in the summer but all through the year and they put it in a you know air tight uh, metal tin container and they add some preservatives to it when they put natural preservatives it decomposes faster but if they want it to last for a couple of years then they put chemical preservative so a chemical preservative is something very powerful that has the power to disable or destroy the god made law of decomposition so this is how powerful those things are and if it's not a mango and we talk of chocolate milk in a tetra pack uh, because they try to make these products even cheaper and cheaper because of composition then you have artificial coloring and the chocolate color is not even from uh, you know the cacao bean uh it is artificial color there's artificial taste added to it artificial you know fragrance and uh, a preservative to keep it fine and then there's this uh, thing called the stabilizer which is a super chemical you know uh, a stabilizer is put in there just because if it was not put in there then the other chemicals in it would interact with the food and the whole thing would spoil so there's actually atomic warfare going on in this tin and the stabilizers put there to stop this atomic warfare and keep the 
chocolate milk as it is or the mango or the tomato or the kidney bean okay so we have this unit of atomic warfare lying in all of these malls that we go and shop at in the food section in the malls you know now they're having some fresh food counters but besides that most of it is packaged food and this is what they're made of and we bring those things home we open up the tin and then we allow the atomic warfare to happen inside our body so they are all unstable uh, molecules missing electrons and they start robbing electrons from our throat from our you know gut lining from our digestive tract intestines stomach intestines colon rectum and cause inflammation and ulceration finally leading to tumors and cancer so now when such a damage you know people talk about ahimsa or non violence and in in the you know in the vegan uh, veganism space we talk about ahimsa non violence to animals what what about the daily violence that we are doing to our own selves you know if you have diabetes or you have high blood pressure it means that you are daily damaging your system and your body is fighting back so you're being violent to your own human body and when it fights back it expresses itself as the names of all these illnesses so that is serious regular daily continuous damage to your immune system so do yourself a favor and stop having all of these package and especially processed foods there's not so much damage if you're just you know packing a a uh, kilo of grain in an you know air tight or vacuum sealed uh, container if you're not put any preservatives in it okay so processed food is what i'm talking about stop having any of that and just go and get natural vegetable fruits nuts beans peas roots grains fruits everything flowers also if you eat them <laughs> you know some flowers are very nutritious so that i would put in foods as the top the top you know damages of the immune system then the next thing after that is microwave food okay microwave uh, it changes the molecular structure of food and when you put that food inside this human body which if it was not microwaved earlier the human body has been used to its natural food since thousands of years and now you put it in a microwave and you change that molecular structure and then when it's going into the human body the human body cannot recognize it and start fighting it through your immune system so there again you have your immune system engaged okay so get rid of your microwave oven if you want use use an induction uh, plate because induction works ready currents and it only heats the molecules of your container and not the food it doesn't fiddle with your food the food just gets warm by conduction touching the vessel okay so so that was you know uh, about your food now what is healthy food in this place uh, do watch my tedx uh, uh, talk and also read the chapters on nutrition in my book but overall i'm just saying it is local seasonal organic fruits vegetables nuts beans peas roots some amount of grain seeds okay and um, everything that comes from plant okay so plant based food now even once you have that right uh, it's important to know where your organic plant based food is coming from because so many people you know the soils the soil quality is not uh, really good meaning that there's not enough minerals in the soil even your immune system when does your immune system go down and not function when you don't have enough of the minerals inside your body okay so similarly plants also the immunity goes down if the soil doesn't have good enough mineralization and there are so many commercial farming practices that they just want to put in seeds and you know after 3 4 months harvest and they're doing two three crops in a year 
rotation, completely demineralizing the soil. Okay, so you may have hardly any, any minerals in the soil, but you may have not put any chemicals, so you call it organic produce. You know, so that's not the solution. We are all deficient of so many minerals because our plants don't have the minerals because of our soils. Okay, so our, the real the root of this problem is fixing your soil, making them highly mineralized. That's why I got, I got into organic farming, and even better than that is you know, natural farming. Because organic produce also under certification allows for certain percentages of chemicals. And I don't think that is also, you know, good enough for the human body. You can avoid, you know, any chemicals in the human body. So natural farming is what I follow. Okay. So that is about food. Now, the other things that damage the human body is um, your, the chemicals that you Put into your system through your inorganic products, whether it's your herbal shampoos that have got chemicals in it, or your deodorants, or your soap, or even your dishwashing liquid, or the you know uh, uh, detergents in your washing machine for your clothes. So all these chemicals they you know get into your body slowly, uh, especially your detergents uh, in your washing vessels, they get into your skin, get into your pores and then they are inside your bloodstream. So switch to all of your products and make them, you know, use herbal and natural products. So what we are talking about here is a complete cleansing of uh, all the toxins that you have been putting inside your system. And this is necessary for a good functioning human body and an immune system that does not have to get engaged with fighting these things on a daily basis. So now after, after these you know, uh, products, the next is environment. Okay, um, what is the quality of the air that you're breathing and also what does that air contain? And if you're getting smells of some chemicals, like even in the petrol station, the moment you smell petrol, you know, it's oddly in your brain and in your nasal passages, first it's gone through your nasal passages, then it's got into your blood, and then your brain gets the signal that, oh, I smell petrol. So you already have uh, that in your bloodstream. So the smell of, you know, aerosols, and especially when people are doing painting, paint jobs, you know, chemical paints, try to avoid all of those smells and contamination to the human body. Noise pollution is also bad because it kind of engages your subconscious mind. And that noise is something that you take with even when you go to bed in a stressed state. So if you are living in a place that's close to a main road or a signal and all of that, don't take that noise and irritation to sleep, you know, then you should um, find the right kind of meditation to calm you down, put you in a peaceful state before you go to sleep at night. And lastly, in environment, I want to talk about bad electricities. Okay, I've written about this in my book. Bad electricities are the unharmonic energy, energy fields. Now, what is harmonic energy? And the frequencies of light and sound and vibration that are good for the human body, you'll find in this chapter in my book called Metaphysics of the Human Body. Okay, so all those frequencies are good. So the things that we make our mobile phones out of, our laptops out of, our wireless routers, our, you know, um, uh, internet uh, signals, they are all fields that get into the human body and engage its immune system and cause, cause slow damage. Even now, the, the latest, you know, talk about uh, 5G getting implemented across the world and starting with a few cities. Um, evidence is showing and especially evidence brought out by the people who made those systems in their own labs and in their own testing. They're showing us through, you know, uh, through certain meters, uh, how much, uh, how strong those energy fields are and the kind of damage they're doing to the human body. And um, I'm taking it very seriously and even now in the process of um, stopping the use of wireless uh, 
network in my house or my laptop hotspot on my mobile i am shutting all of that down and going for a cabled uh, internet okay that's one very important thing that you can do yeah you know wireless sim nahi vapar rahega iske sab se so um that's that's yeah about your environment and um, some more things that i wanted to talk about is um, right now is a good time for you when you are uh, in the area of food okay and especially if you want to keep your lungs uh, healthy uh, the first thing is have more herbal teas uh, that are known to have healing properties for the lungs okay so tulsi tea tulsi lemon ginger tea uh lemon grass tea you know those are all uh, uh healthy teas and even uh, concoctions that mix uh, turmeric uh, black pepper are you know good for this time also you may have lower immunity because of some of the minerals missing in your body so take those common supplements that we know most people are deficient in and people all across the world especially people in uh, cities living in concrete jungles okay who don't get enough sunlight they're suffering from vitamin d deficiency and uh, there's also b b12 deficiency because vitamin b12 comes from uh, you know soil bacteria and the soil bacteria they originate from water from brooks and streams and wells and that water originates from rain water and what you have in, in the city is that everybody is you know drinking tap water which is chlorinated or put some chemicals in it because they want to sanitize and clean it so you have water that's coming into your body uh that does not have any of those natural strains of bacteria and uh, they aren't going to be making vitamin b12 in your body even vitamin b12 through the soil it goes to the plant and from the plant it comes into your body but if you are going to eat some raw vegetables or fruits that's when you'll get the soil bacteria but now since we clean and cook and scrape all of our stuff there's hardly any natural bacteria coming into the human body okay so that's why the whole alternative uh, uh, support system which is called probiotic foods is what we have had to make okay that also defies natural laws so what i'm saying is there no other species on this planet who eats any who make or ferment their food okay because they eat natural food and they get uh, their strains of soil bacteria so that's why we need to take probiotic capsules also and read the chapter in my book called probiotics it will teach you in your house how to make good uh, probiotic vegetables or cultured vegetables so besides this take your you know your supplements uh, of uh, vitamin d vitamin c right now very good for immunity and lung condition vitamin b12 zinc and whatever else you may be you know deficient in now here's something i want to give you for good uh, lung immunity okay because that's uh, what all of us want most right now for the- for this pandemic um so what can you do there is a three step process that i have been teaching people for years and uh, uh so the first step is to exercise your lungs okay how do you exercise your lungs uh, for, of course if you run and jog you can do that but something very quickly is just do push ups you know the push ups that you do against a wall or against a uh, cupboard or you know when you're young you can do it on the floor also but by the time people cross you know 40 years or 45 years they try to do push ups on the floor they have you know their elbows uh, paining so against the sideboard you can do about 10 push ups that you know stretch up to here so that is working your uh, uh, chest and your lungs really moving it properly and what that is doing is creating energy usage and a lot of blood flow over here okay so do 10 uh, push up then the next step is uh, keep your eyes closed okay now you're trying to generate lot, lot of prana or bio current 
uh, in your body and when that is made in abundance it will flow to that part in your body that needs energy okay so what you have is a cycle of exercise for the lungs and then energy flow through the lungs so that is going to give your lungs strength immunity more oxygen okay uh so after the first 10 push up you close your eyes because if your eyes are open energy flows out of the eyes okay 80% of it will go out so keep your eyes closed and do very deep full capacity lung breathing in a forced manner okay if you don't have any heart condition or very high blood pressure or a pacemaker or stent in your heart then you can go for you know maximum capacity but if you do have one of those conditions then you know drop it down to about 80% so for me if 100% of breathing in and out fully without hurrying and no cutting your breath short like you know bhastrika or a kapal bhati no nothing like that you need full lung power for full lung strength okay so i'm just giving you a demo of maybe three four breaths <laughs> Okay, that would be my hundred percent capacity. I request everybody to put their mic on mute because somebody is doing it in the background and the sound is coming. Okay, here. So if I if I had a pacemaker or very high BP, okay, or a stent in my heart, instead of that power, I would do a little less. Sorry, okay. Sabhaji. Sabhaji, okay. Das. Yes. Your uh, breath. Your breath is unmuting the. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so everybody's mic on mute, please. Yeah. So what I said is, the second step is doing this deep breathing, okay, and generating karma, okay, and keeping your eyes closed. I request everybody's mic to be on mute, please. Put your mic on mute. Somebody is talking in the background. Okay, I'm doing this on my mobile, you know, because my laptop. I could not get a clear picture on my video. That's why my controls are not so easily available. Otherwise, would have muted everybody. <laughs> And I don't see this kind of control on my uh, mobile. I can see three dots, and I meeting settings. Okay, let me see. No, uh, Daryl, I have it. But if I mute, okay. I will mute you as well. So. I'm muting each one by one when they talk. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So um, yes, that was the second step, and you got to keep your eyes closed. Okay. So ten, forced a powerful breath. You can have your eyes open that time, but then ten, you know, uh, deep breaths, uh, energizing and creating more prana and chi flow in your body, bioelectric current, and where will it go mostly? to that part that is just exercise okay so now this is this is something natural and automatic you see just imagine yourself running for about a kilometer you know non stop and after that what do you do you find yourself you're bending over and you're breathing deep okay why because your lungs have been worked out so much and you know it's deficient of oxygen Okay, so then the second step is this uh, breathing, keeping your eyes closed, and after a few days, when you're used to it, you can even increase your count to twenty. Okay, so you may when you increase your count to twenty, you may get a little bit of tingling sensation, or a little bit of uh, flickering of light in your eyes. Now, what does that mean? That is actually the experience of the flow of bio current. Bio current is trickling everywhere, even through your eyelids. That's flowing through your nerves and your eyelids. That's why you can see a little bit of light flickering. Okay, so none of this is theory. It's very well tried, tested, and I've been teaching it for years. So the second part, bio current energizing, and the third part after that is I forgot to get my acupressure ball. Okay, but the best part thing would be 
press the points, you go to the acupressure chapter in my book and see where the points for the lungs are. You'll find the points for the lungs over here, next to the liver, and you'll also find lung points over here. Okay? So, after this breathing, you can open your eyes or even keep them closed and do acupressure like this, okay, deeply for about one minute for your lung points here, here, okay? And even on the other hand. So you will see a picture of an acupressure ball in my book in the acupressure chapter. All that you have to do is take that hard pointed ball with spikes on it, like a plastic or a wooden one, and roll it on these parts, here and here, you know, both simultaneously for about a minute. Okay? You don't have the ball, you press these acupressure points. One minute on this hand, one minute on this hand with your pointed thumb or your index finger with some support like this from this side you know deep here if your lungs or your liver is weak you are going to get a pain okay and that is uh, telling you that through acupressure diagnosis that that organ is weak and pressing that organ every day will make that pain go away and cure the uh, organ now this i'm going to teach in very deep a lot of detail practically through videos and more explanation organ by organ healing next Saturday in my full day workshop. Okay, can't do it here in an hour's video, but I've given you the basic principle. Okay, so so these three steps okay, 10 push ups, 10 or 20 uh, deep breathing with the eyes closed, then about one minute acupressure for both your hands. That will really improve your immune and system and lungs. Even those of you who have got a cough and cold right now, you do this twice or thrice a day and you'll see your cough and cold and lung conditioning disappearing and going down within four to five days. Okay, it'll start receding. You'll see immediate proof. So let's see what else I have for you here before I wind up. Um, um, yes, stress, anxiety, fear about pandemic, bad relationships, basically bad energy flow in your entire energy system and the hemispheres of your brain, okay, this brings down immune function and immunity of the body. Even if you're a, you know, if you're a borderline diabetic, you give a borderline diabetic a lot of stress and they, their sugar will touch 140. And on the days they have no stress, their sugar will be 115, okay? So, so stress, this is just one example, okay? Stress worsens the condition of any illness in your body. And it also brings down immune function. Because your entire energy system <laughs> has to go to keeping yourself calm down or your hyper or your angry state, trying to balance it. So, Resolve your relationship problems whenever you are in stress. Watch yourself, take a deep breath, calm yourself down, or do a meditation. Okay. So de stress yourself because that's important for your immunity. And uh, lastly, I wanted to talk about this chapter in my book, Five Elements Therapy, that I spoke about earlier. Modern people living in cities need more physical food which are representative of the five elements because they don't get the elements in their pure form. You know, all the other species in, living in the jungle, they get the five elements from the highly oxygenated air that they breathe. The ones that need sunlight on their uh, bodies, they get good sun, which is the fire element. Okay, so that air element, fire element, earth element by walking bare feet. None of us walk bare feet and we don't get the earth element. So we got to eat more physical food and more things like grains and, you know, hard things like seeds and beans. So, uh, so earth element comes from earthing and grounding. You don't need to walk. You can just sit in your garden or anywhere, you know, on the, uh, and read a newspaper for about 45 minutes. Um, Google the uh, the Earthing Institute. It will give you all the sciences of earthing 
and enough explanation in my book also in the chapter of five elements therapy so water yeah definitely all of them are getting better micro clustered water okay that is small particles of water with the right electrical charge with the right bacterial uh, you know content because of this uh, water flowing through books and streams but we get very thick molecules of water with a lot of stress to our piping system okay so we are not getting enough though we drink a lot of water at the cellular level we are not getting hydrated okay so that um, finally um, the space element again living in you know working in small work cubicles living in houses with small rooms uh, you know you know the effect when you're sitting in a cubicle in your workspace you know how your energy feels and as compared to that you know you, you take a car and go to the countryside you stand on top of a mountain and within 5 minutes you are feeling expansive okay that allows your energy body to expand there's a there's a there's an energy exchange that is happening from the cosmos to you so we need we need more of the and human beings we were we were built on these natural five elements which we don't get enough of right now okay so try to get more of the five natural five elements um and the practice that you can do is what i did a few days before the lockdown i went to the beach side which has got the waves breaking and a lot of humidity in the air i i was doing a uh, sun yoga and i'll tell you about sun yoga very important now is a chapter in my book and uh, just taking the energy of the sun every day through open eyes there's a technique and it's very detailed and it starts with one minute thank you using one one minute looking at the sun every day and uh, uh i did that for 3 years from 2009 to 2000 you know 2009 10 and 11 and i got so much of nutrition from the sun because the detailed explanations of our yogis say that all the five elements come from the sun also so i used to take that in for about half an hour 45 minutes when i went into advanced stage of uh, what is called as sun gazing or sun yoga and at that time i needed it only half to one third of my normal nutrition so proving that law in nature which is that the if you get enough of the five elements from some source you don't need it from another source because most, most of our physical foods are so badly contaminated and inorganic and you know full of chemicals so i don't advise everybody to run and do sun yoga now especially you know across the world now people are having food shortages so i would at least recommend doing it for 2 3 minutes or 5 minutes in the morning read the chapter in my book or go to my website become healthy or extinct see the tab on sun yoga okay and it will explain the technique over there and it first says if you got you know cat like glaucoma or serious eye condition retinal problem uh then go to the chapter in my book uh, that called treatments for illnesses it will show you what what is the treatment for eye problem okay there's little bit of diet change there are acupressure points to be pressed for the eyes okay which will heal your eyes um have a lot of carrot carrot juice and all of that press the optic nerve that's on this side over here okay so get your eyes strong uh, use those the acupressure ring or for treating your eye pain and then you know you can start slowly doing uh sun yoga and get a little bit of the pure element um my teacher who was sun yogi mahan so and a dozen of people who are living and, and after that after all of the research i started doing my practice got my results and then started thinking about it. My, Sorry, Daryl. My... Just uh, Subhajit Das. Yes. Could you please keep your phone muted because it's keep coming on, and it's cutting Daryl's uh, conversation. Thank you, Subhajit. Yeah. So, so yeah, I was talking about yeah. My teacher, he lived off the sun just for ten years without any food. Okay, and there are other people in the world. also who under scientific tests have proved 
uh, that they could live without food living on prana energy and on and like so i'm sure this technique will be very good for so many of the third world countries where the lockdown has you know uh, caused the non availability of food and people really don't need to die of starvation because they can get nutrition from the sun okay so my recommendation is not to you know go extreme and do what i did for experimentation and all of that but um, uh, at least uh, look at the sun in the morning time like 7:30 is good when it's not too bright but you have a nice uh, good intense nice intensity and maybe do it for 3 5 minutes or 10 minutes and get that uh, you know nutrition so i was explaining how i got the five elements uh, uh, you know a day before the lockdown i went to the beach um minimal clothing i just was wearing a boxer short i uh, was looking directly at the sun got all the vitamin d that i needed okay um got the sun energy i was bare feet i got the earth energy with the water breaking of the waves i got the you know uh, Sorry, bare feet. So I got the earth element, water breaking of the waves. I got the, you know, uh, water element, the expanded empty beach. I got the space element. And if you don't have a beach, you can go next to a, you know, uh, a river or a pond or something, or any other kind of water body that you may find. A dam also is good. Okay. So this is this will really increase your immunity. now um yes and lastly i want to say that um sleep sleep is very important uh you need to get at least uh, if you're stressed during the day and tired take a break you know take a break for 15 minutes close your eyes breathe slowly you don't need to do a fast breathing there breathe slowly to your belly you see so that that complete uh, you know letting your abdomen expand it expands because your lungs get full so do slow breathing calm yourself down that is in the day time but at night at least try to get 7 8 hours of you know good sleep um finally i mentioned earlier also uh read my chapter in my book and do the cleanse uh, you know therapies So that you can rejuvenate your organs and give them more immunity uh, to take care of your health. Um, do moderate exercise. Do acupressure if you like. Yoga, meditation. Make it a part of your routine now because a lot of people have free time. And for those of you who uh, want to learn how to reverse all of these illnesses. right chronic illnesses like i mentioned high bp cholesterol diabetes all of that um you can attend my uh, workshop my online workshop uh, next saturday you can comment on this video it is being recorded so i think we will have all the comments um or you can get in touch with me uh i will be doing that uh, through a zoom webinar uh, itself and i will also share it on a closed uh, facebook group okay it will be a full day workshop right from 9 in the morning to 8 pm in the evening with breaks after every one hour 15 minute break so we can have time for a pause washroom break for people to comment so i can you know reply uh to comment and every person will get an autograph copy printed copy of my book okay whether they are in india or overseas doesn't matter along with that an acupressure gadget that will help you do acupressure and you know some of this work um uh yes so the resources to go to now on my website once again uh, becomehealthierexing.com and over there in the health workshop okay you will get the content of what are all the things i'm going to cover in the workshop and i put there uh, 11th of uh, uh april so you can email me if you're interested or just uh, put a comment on that page that you're interested in the workshop and i'll send you all the details now why once again why is it important 
to cure these chronic illnesses because you see medicines are not curing them and medicines are like life support system and you live with the illness and broken dna and we are going and making children out of broken dna today people at the age of even 28 30 32 have got high blood pressure they certainly have hormonal imbalance obesity and you know eye problem so of broken dna we you know men and women are coming together making children and passing this broken dna onto the next generation and that's why every next generation is getting sicker and so the topic of my book you'll read in the preface why am i saying become healthier extinct because we are not taking the real roots to becoming healthy and if we don't do that even with all these medicines uh, our next generations are not going to survive so um it's very important to live a medicine free life because i'll repeat once again if you have diabetes and you have arthritis then you have an autoimmune disease which means an engagement on a daily level of your immune system which leaves hardly any energy left for your immune system to fight all these viruses and bacteria and elasticities and keep your immunity high okay so humanity is in for a disaster in the coming years if we don't really fix our health okay so those of you who have got these illnesses welcome to my workshop uh, uh next saturday and uh, you know help yourself learn the skills get the book it's like a workbook it's a complete system of integrated natural healing okay i i do work on spirituality uh, right from 2011 okay that's when i spoke at the world parliament on spirituality and my talk which is not yet uh, on youtube uh, it's still with me and i have to kind of do some editing on it because the lighting went bad at one point of time but that was a very important talk and the topic was human beings are having imbalanced development in mind body and spirit and they really need to fix their body now or that body cannot be the vehicle channel or the container of spirit to evolve to a certain level that can take care of all the problems in our world today okay that's why i put my work on physical health in the front and my work on spirituality behind so uh, in my retreat in my book on health you'll find everything regards to health and some amount of energy to the meditation as well a very powerful meditation which you can use uh, which is using the sun for its energy directing into your body and healing all your organs at this time you can use that technique to heal your lung okay your throat and your sinuses all of that so i'm done with yeah what i wanted to share with you and uh, now i'll just open up for questions and uh, uh, though there have been comments uh, i think you know sirina has picked up some of the questions i have lost track of all of them um, so yes I, i'm done with what i wanted to see and open for question answers now daryl yes uh when when are we supposed to have probiotic okay so if you are having a probiotic capsule and all of that you can have it uh, you know uh, half an hour after your lunch and one half an hour after your dinner okay because okay. if you have it on empty stomach then you know stomach acid acts like uh, that yeah but when you have it half an hour after your lunch because your food is gone in and in half mm. an hour time whatever acid has to be made it is made and it's working with your food so the acid is not so strong okay and then in a half an hour you take the capsule it will go there mix with your food and not get so much damage some of the bacteria will survive and get into your intestinal tract but if you are following uh, the cultured vegetables from the probiotic chapter of my book you can yeah have i did yeah three four tablespoons or even three tablespoons of that you can have it about one hour before lunch okay. one hour before lunch okay thank you daryl it was really informative what you said really nice yeah You're welcome anyone else sir can i ask a question sir yes 
Yes, sir. My daughter is having juvenile idiopathic arthritis problem, sir. Four years old. Okay. Sir, what is the way to cure the method, sir? Yeah. So read that chapter in my book, Treatments for Illnesses. Okay, over there you will see what is the treatment for arthritis. Generally, you have to follow that complete treatment. Also, look at the chapter on diet and follow more of an alkaline diet. And uh, some other time when uh, you know I can have a one-to-one -one with you on yes, understanding sir. some peculiarities and some history of your daughter, which will give me yes, more sir. insight into besides these two things, what else you need to do. Okay. Excuse me. Concerning the uh, hi, concerning the milk product, uh, yeah. does this include uh, the fermented uh, milk product as well as uh, uh, the yogurt and yes, uh, yes. the uh, chèvre? Because uh, uh, I what was else? Advised, you said yogurt uh, and what else? Uh, uh, goat, goat cheese. Yeah, goat cheese. Okay. Uh, because so now, uh, I want to tell you that uh, since third. I mean, 30 years ago, I stopped milk products, but mm. uh, I indulge in uh, yogurt, lebne, you know, lebne, the uh, dried yeah, yogurt, lebne. and uh, um, the goat cheese. Just lately, I started, when I was starting to be in the, my 60s, I started allowing myself a little bit of cheese because I really like that. Okay, so... So people are eating things more for what you know for the taste and anything that is tasty for example people eat so most of the people when I ask them you know uh, are you drinking milk they're saying yeah it tastes nice and when I go to see what they've done with their milk you know they put some strawberry kind of taste in it that's why we like ice cream you know uh, anything uh, people really don't like the natural raw taste of milk but they keep on putting it in cakes and shakes and you know smoothies and all that it's so people are just having taste, you know. So the first thing is about uh, uh, this milk. So from those uh, pages 120 to 125 in my book, you will understand all the scientific aspects and practical aspects uh, of what, what are the harmful aspects of milk. So now if you make uh, cheese out of milk, you see, so one kilo of cheese, it takes a lot much more milk to make it. and uh, so the, if there are negative, you know, if you say there are 10 points negative in the milk, then that gets converted to 15 points of negativity in the cheese because it's concentrated milk. And after that is, you know, what we call paneer uh, in, uh, in India. And then as you break it down, it is, so curd is also thicker than milk, okay? But it's got some bacteria. Now, we, if we want good bacteria, we should use cultured vegetables, okay? We don't need to have the curd just to get our bacteria and get all the 10 negative aspects of milk. So also there's lassi and chas or buttermilk and all of that. So yes, buttermilk has got diluted. Maybe it's not got 10 points of negativity. Okay, it, it may have about six, but it still has that. Now, what is the alternative to all of this? Uh, and I'll give you some practical evidence. The alternative to this is nut milk. Okay, almond milk, brown, uh, so you can make, you can make cheese, um, yeah, you can make cheese out of it. You can make yogurt, cakes, creams, uh, uh, you know, mayonnaise uh, of almond milk, cashew nut milk, uh, pumpkin milk, then coconut milk, then soya bean milk. Okay, so there are a lot of alternatives to animal milk. Now, the evidence in the world. Okay, which tells you about what's going wrong. So in 2005, when I started uh, treating people for these problems, I'll give you an example of women, for example, hormonal imbalance and fibroids in the uterus, uh, difficulty having pregnancy, and uh, then uh, this on the ovaries, bulky uterus, which finally the last stage is a hysterectomy. Okay, uh, so all of these conditions. In 2005, women were coming to me for treatment, but they were of the age bracket, 38, 40, and 42. But now, if, since 2017, 18, 19, 20, I have college girls who are 17, 18 years coming for those problems. And it first starts with uh, fists on the ovaries. 
at about 17, 18. After that, it's fibroids in the uterus by the time they're 22. And when I ask them about cysts on the ovaries, you know, when, since when I have your, uh, you know, menses or periods been painful, and they don't recollect this thing right from the first time you've had periods, it's been painful. So they are having unnatural periods and also the day is still swinging. So what is the difference between 2005, at least in a place like India, okay? What is the difference between 2005 and 2018? In 2005, in India at least, we did not have double cheese burst pizza. There was no such thing as a softie, a smoothie, a cheesecake. And when you went to the ice cream store, you will get, you know, 20 different types of ice creams, either on a stick or in a cone or in a cup. But today you go over there, you get ice cream in the form of biscuit, in the form of, you know, different shapes. And the amount of variety of all of these milk and products has gone so high now. And that's the only reason for this hormonal imbalance and the excess weight and all of these illnesses for women. For men also, they also have hormonal imbalance for it, for men. So, so this is the real evidence in the world. We need to get off, you know, uh, animal milk because it is designed for them. It's got even natural, organic, grass-fed cow milk has got about 30 times higher estrogen than the normal estrogen levels in the human body. And that is only required by the calf for an accelerated growth, which the calf grows in a full-size, you know, normal cow in two years. But that is not the growth pattern of human being. We don't need that acceleration. We become full-size when we are 16, 17, 18. And also the cow has to become so big and heavy. So we really do a hormonal overdose on our system. So it basically defies all the natural laws. And we'll end up with all these problems. Okay, so if you like this white liquid, switch to nut milk and make your cheeses, your cake, your coffee, tea, your yogurt, and your ice cream, everything from nut milk. I've been doing it here in Goa. We've been selling these products product on the vegetable market. People love it. Anybody else? Hey, Daryl. Hi, Sanjeev Bakshi here. Yes, Sanjeev. Hi. Yeah, hi. So it's been, um, I think, two months since we met. So, so thanks. You know, what I realize is every time I hear you, there's some new nugget of information I gather, which yeah. was, which I had not heard from you earlier. So, yeah. so uh, anyway, thanks. You know, we have been, I think now, uh, 10 of my friends have been following your, uh, whatever you had taught the integrated health. And I think, thanks, majority, to, you. thanks uh, to you for passing it on. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, you know, I think as of now, majority of us already showing results. So, so that's beautiful. In fact, I was looking forward to meeting you again in Delhi, but unfortunately, the lockdown prevented that. So yes, just yes. one question, which my, you know, uh, another one of the new people who joined, in fact, my son started doing everything now. He's already off okay. milk and everything. And mm -hmm. uh, he's already shown improvement and he has scars from acne. So I told him to follow what you had written for acne in your book. But for yeah. scars, is there something more to be done? Or is the, the, the points that are written for acne will suffice? Yeah, the points that are written for acne will suffice. And then you can use certain things that, you know, uh, really clear scars, but natural herbs. Okay, uh, you've heard of Kailash Jeevan, right? Kailash Jeevan. Okay, no, yeah, I've not it, heard it, of it. It, like it's India's remedy for the last, you know, 25, 30 years. I used to hear it on TV and radio and all that. Go to a medical store, ask for Kailash even. It is a herbal product. Okay, and apply that thing there every day and the scars will clear, you know, in some time. Okay, in 10, 15 days, it will clear. Okay. 10, 15 days. Now okay. This, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is such a pure product that you can eat it. You know, that's <laughs> how natural it is. So, Kailash Jeevan. Kailash Jeevan, okay, for those of you who are in India, wonderful herbal product for the skin, for some, you know, mild infections, for roughness of skin or patches, wonderful product. Okay. Thank Everybody. you. Thank for you so much. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 
is there anyone else uh, sir can i ask the question again sir madam yes yes one person hello please. yes sir i am again ramesh sir sir yes. uh, regarding my daughter self sir actually you are told to meet one and one okay. and what 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 about food she has to take sir now she is 4 year old now okay so unless i know the full uh, complete history and all i won't be able to comment because uh, okay, what is healthy food is there in that chapter in my book um yes, try and uh, yeah try and attend my workshop uh, next week because it's knowledge that yes, sure, you sure. need yeah you need to understand this for yourself for your wife for your daughter for your family okay uh, attend that workshop and uh, through the workshop you get many understandings and after the workshop i am giving a private consultation time also to people because you will understand in that workshop how to reverse most of the illnesses and then after that in the your private consult after that just certain aspects that are particular to your daughter's case or your case you can ask me and i will give you those missing pieces to make it a complete solution okay 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 sir is it uh, permanently curable sir uh yes so you mentioned uh, what is the condition juvenile juvenile idiopathy arthritis sir actually doctor has yes, asked yes. last week. yes so from whatever i i teach and i give it to you you'll see improvements happening within 10 15 days okay and then yes, we'll slowly work and we'll get it better Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, David. Hi, hi. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, if everybody would just say their name, yes. I'm um, Mohit. Yes, Mohit. David, I've been following your book uh, since quite a long now. Now I'm referring your book to my friends all around my city, and they are two turning up to become a vegan. Uh, the most, uh, like, uh, if you. you've heard, uh, I've written. Uh, so many messages uh, to you on whatsapp regarding uh, there are a lot of uh, diseases which are prevailing now in the north part of india like cancer coronary heart yes so right. i just wanted to know uh, is there any reversal program for coronary heart disease yes so this is what i cover in my full day workshop you see and i've been doing this since uh, 2012 So I've been teaching this in all of my programs in different cities since 2012, and it's mm-hmm. what my book is about. So coronary heart disease is also covered in. Mm-hmm. Now, in Goa, uh, so when I travel to different cities, I prefer to do the full day intensive program. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when I'm in Goa, uh, because people uh, sometimes find it difficult to be in a program for a whole day from nine to six. So then, mm-hmm. I have been doing at my center, the rejuvenation center in Kalangos, which is shut down now because of lockdown. Mm-hmm. I had planned 52 workshops for the entire year, and every Sunday I was doing a different workshop. So okay. uh, I think uh, in Jan, the second week or the third week, uh, Sunday, I did this one: reversing um, high blood pressure, cholesterol, heart disease. Okay, uh, and it was a three-hour intensive workshop. So, so now. Is the- uh, uh will so i i'm planning uh, because i don't know how long this lockdown will go on uh i'm planning to do it maybe after a couple of months i may start doing these individual uh, focus you know three hour program mm-hmm. so people having those specific things can come for it mm-hmm. but then uh, the the need for the, uh, the the recommendation for those people would be come for the three hour program and understand the main aspect of that problem work on it Mm-hmm. and then you have to read the whole book to understand how everything fits together okay okay uh, okay yeah but i prefer that uh, people why i am so you know i am so intent on doing the full day workshop because today somebody has high bp and they fix it and then after some time they've got arthritis or they got some eye problem and because some parts are missing you see so i mm-hmm. prefer people to under, uh, come for the full day workshop understand all the mistakes and all the solutions and have the complete uh, healing system with them it's just you know one day and it, it's a very powerful program um, so the ne- next week uh, saturday is going to be that yeah uh, saturday uh, 11th um, of april uh, india time it will be from 9 am to mm-hmm. uh, 8 pm in the evening like with the after every one hour or 10 15 minutes break and okay. uh, i've made it in a certain format so that people you know foreigners around the globe also uh, mm-hmm. when they come on online they can see the lecture that i've given and they can give the comment so 
so that is okay. done through the clovers uh, you know facebook uh, group so whatever okay. i do with you live will be put on the group and the people in the live session they'll get up all of it they can question uh, you know answer and they can come in okay. later also the next day also and okay. for the people in the different time zone they will come on the facebook group they will not be on the zoom live but they will mm -hmm. have this recording of our zoom with them they'll get the entire mm -hmm. lecture see everybody's comments my answers and then they mm -hmm. can put their questions and get their answers okay Done. so even after all of that even after all of that i will be giving people a half an hour you know individual uh, consultation session after it so my mm -hmm. intent is to see that everybody gets the complete information and if there's something very specific to them that they get it also that they get my book and after my book lot of resources i have on the internet uh, for my website which i will give them like there's a healthy you know vegan uh, cooking book that we have and uh, you know raw food all of that done we'll wait for the confirmation for the webinar then Yes, yes. Just send me a message that you're interested, and I will send you the messages of the detail of that. Okay. Okay. Done. Hi, Daryl. Okay, uh, oh, sorry. Hi, Daryl. Uh, this is Lohit here. Um, yes. Yes. So, yeah. So I just want to know, like, um, uh, so acidity in blood causes a lot of issues, right? Because that's a source of most of the things, um, as you mentioned in uh, one of the workshop. So I want to know, like, how to know that, like. Uh, Whether we have acidic blood or like, a, is it fine or things like that? Like, is there any symptom or is there a way, specific way to know it? Um, you can get uh, now blood always tries to maintain its pH inside the system. So getting blood check will not show much of a deviation of pH. Okay, but you can take uh, the 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 kind of liquids that are coming out of blood. So you can go and get your saliva check for pH, and you can. even go and uh, you know you get a uric acid test that will also show you how acidic your blood is okay uh, uh, thanks sir yeah. you're welcome uh, serene i'm coming back to you uh, is there any question that you have and my second question is how much more time do we have and uh, when do we need to wind up you can wind up when you feel like it we can we can listen to you all day <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Darren. Okay, it was so lovely. Um, no, certain people are asking some questions, but um, I okay, don't know. Do you any, have any question? Uh, can we reverse heart disease? Um, yes, definitely. Yes. In my in my uh, this in my on Saturday, I will explain what uh, plaque and cholesterol is, how it happens to the human body. And how it is to be reversed? Okay, that by itself is a fifteen-minute explanation, but it's uh, very easy to understand. Okay, so yes, all of these conditions are reversible uh, without medicines, with integrated natural therapies, with ev everything that I'm teaching from my book. And I always advise people uh, when you start these practices and all, you're not supposed to just stop medication on your own. Okay, medication has come to you. Through a prescription, there have been some tests done on you, and as for that, a medical doctor is certified to write a prescription and give you some medicine. Now, the only way that can be undone is by you following the right kind of diet and the cleanses and the acupressure and all that. And as your blood pH improves, as acidity goes down, or as your diabetes, your sugar levels go down, and you are feeling better, then you are supposed to go and get those same tests. Which will show an improved condition, and those tests you have to show to the same doctor who gave you the prescription, and then as the sugar is going lower and lower, as per his own system, he will have to reduce the dosage of medication. So that is how you get off medication. Okay, not by yourself, but by doing the right practices, healing yourself, then getting the test, and the test will show that you improved, and those will be given to the doctor, and the doctor needs to. Reduce your medication. Okay, more more questions. Um, is your book available in Hindi? Uh, not uh, yet, but by the end of this year, and this is April, right? So uh, May, uh, June, July, August. By September, by September, my book should be in Hindi. Hopefully, in uh, Gujarati. uh konkani which is the local language in goa too and also in marathi okay so yeah so look for september october when it's going to be in these languages 
Okay. Um, someone's asking, is psoriasis uh, curable? Yes, psoriasis is curable. It takes time. And um, uh, one of the main reasons is, as I will explain on next Saturday, it takes a little bit of time, but the main cause is wrong strains of bacteria in the digestive system. Okay. So there's an overgrowth of the wrong kind of bacteria in the digestive system. And when any organism that eats food and is eating your food to live, it excretes certain toxins that go into the blood. And because the human body is not designed to neutralize their toxins, uh, because their population has gone high, when they're very low, uh, then the human body can manage. But when the populations go high, the toxins in the blood go high. And those toxins come onto the body as sweat. So you you have those patches happening at certain areas where you sweat, or even between the fingers and all of that. Okay. So to fix psoriasis, you have to rebalance your gut. And the first improvement you will see is that what I said earlier: stop eating all foods that have got processed sugar added to them. Okay. Eat only a, a fruit once a day, and stop all these chocolates, the ice creams, and you know uh, all of that. And you will see the condition of psoriasis coming down by 30-40% just by stopping all food that have got processed sugar added to it. And even that, you know, somebody said it's organic sugar, but it's still, you know, concentrated sugar. So get off this organic sugar and even joggery. Uh, I personally do not add sugar or even organic sugar to any of my food. I, my sweetness in my body only comes through food. Okay. So psoriasis, two things. Um, I will explain more in my full day workshop how to rebalance your gut bacteria. And the second advice is stop all sugary food. So even cane sugar is bad? Yes, cane sugar, see, it is for these people. Uh, so cane sugar is what we get in India, right? Yeah. So if you have the wrong kind of bacteria in your system and you keep on putting these high doses of sugar to your food, then they also multiply. Um, so, so don't do that. And we have to have balanced sugars, you see, uh, of different varieties. Now, God or nature or Gaia, in every place, local, seasonal fruits are available. Okay, so you have at least in a region four, five, six, seven things happening. And that is what has been offered to you for your consumption. And it changes in the certain season. So human beings need a variety of sugars. And through the fruits, they get these variety of sugars with their different minerals, vitamins, fibers, proteins, and all of that. That is natural food. And the biggest mistake we do is we don't have those fruits. And we get a sweet tooth and a deficiency. And then we want all the sugar from cane. So you see, that's the first level of malnutrition. You are not getting the balanced sugars that nature is providing you. Keeping all of them aside and you're getting only choking. So that's less of nutrition. So don't make this mistake. Okay, thank you, Daryl. Welcome. And dates, if we make uh, dates and fix. Yes, yeah, so when uh, people are uh, trying to make certain things sweet, like you're making a pudding or you make something of nut milk and all of that, you know, uh, for example, if I make fruit, uh, I make some amazing, you know, banana, uh, cashew nut, uh, uh, milk of cashew nut ice cream, and it used to sell up in the market, even jackfruit and cashew nut. I use cashew nut because the milk is a little more, you know, binding and slimy, it feels good, but almond, almond milk is not so binding. Uh, so for the for the jackfruit and for the banana, I did not need any sweetening. Okay, now for something like papaya, yes, we put in a little bit of date paste. Okay, to sweeten up a bit, or something we've just touched, added a touch of vanilla. So for sweetening, yes, if somebody has to make something sweet, I prefer natural sweetener like date paste or raisins or prunes or figs, uh, stuff like that. Uh, who is it? Please come close to your mic. I can't hear you now. This is Shirangni from Bombay. Hi, can you hear me now? Now it's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I had a question about microwave. If you are yes. not, because 
these days there are advanced microwaves where you don't uh, like i use a uh, microwave for a lot of baking and uh, not mm. for reheat food but for baking uh, some of my eggless cakes or for some of my eggless dishes so i microwave yeah. is bad for that as well when you're putting your yeah. raw ingredients yeah so i'll now i'll explain with a real life example which you should do okay like i said everything right. i talk about has got lot of relevance and i try to give people experiments which will show them the proof and i don't in my book i'm not quoting like scientific studies from double blind study from white man black woman and all of that okay because most of the studies when i go to research them the test environments are wrong because they don't represent life now i'll give you one experiment with this microwave thing okay so uh like i said microwave they vibrate the water molecules in the food and they change the molecular structure of food okay so that's why that is not something that the human body of course it breaks it down whatever nutrition it can take it will take but the immune system will fight a food like that i do this experiment you know cook rice like you normally cook it and it's after it's done it's nice and white and fluffy and soft let it come to room temperature and you cook it in your pressure cooker or your vessel or whatever you bring it to room temperature now you take a china plate and you put uh, you know like three tablespoons of that soft rice on one china plate uh, do the same for the second china plate and third china plate you got three or four tablespoons of the same amount of rice that is at room temperature so the first plate you put it in the microwave for one minute heating okay bring it out let it cool second plate 2 minutes heating third plate 3 minutes heating now you let all of them come to room temperature after that the first plate you take the grains of rice and you mash them and you make them soft and you will see they are a little bit sticky you can take them you know we used to in school we used to take rice and use it to stick paper you know close envelopes and all of that when you did not get the gummed envelope we used to stick it and do our craft with rice so why does it stick because there is starch so you take an envelope or a paper you stick it with that 1 minute rice you will see that it sticks to some degree do the same thing with the 3 minute rice that you had cooled down it will stick to some extent and you will really wonder if it's sticking and check both the envelopes after 15 minutes you'll see the 1 minute one seems to be stuck a little bit and the third one is not stuck at all and it's just opened up and you'll find powder that's becoming free so from this experiment you can understand that rice is no longer rice okay so so what are we doing to our food we are putting in raw rice and a certain raw ingredients and we are expecting them to be like that no they're not going to be like that they're going to be something else they're going to be cooked of course but even like i said you have already cooked that thing right in your cooker or your vessel you already cooked it but after you cooked it it still retains its starch and its property but once you microwave that thing it has become something else so don't do that to your food all right but uh, okay i understand that so reheating is completely out i understand that yeah so i do thing i say i say uh, cooking food in the microwave is damaging food completely and even warming is damaging it partly so why do we want to damage our food at all we can use the gas oven firewood you know a uh, a uh, coil oven we can use the uh, uh, this um, what i i give you the uh, induction plate So we've got three, four modes of cooking. Just leave that microwave off. Understood. Understood. Thank you so much, Arun. Thank you. Okay. Drink from a bottle like this and no plastic. Okay. So here's a campaign in Goa. That's a carrier bottle campaign. Uh, that means even when I go out to restaurants and all, I always carry my own water and the bottles over. I ask for the restaurant people to you know fill it up. They can charge me for it and all that's fine, but no plastic water. Okay.
Yeah. There are, well, there are there are lots of questions, but I don't think we can go over them as you wish. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, just see. Uh, just uh, run to the questions. If there's some very unique questions okay. that probably came close to, you can pick up that. Someone's asking about air fryer. Is air fryer good? Yes. Now air fryer is fine, uh, and uh, uh, it it good at using a heating coil and air blowing. So that's fine. It depends. Some people put a little bit of oil with a like a oil brush. They touch up a little. So that's little. That's minimal amount of oil that you use. It's okay. Okay. Um, but even if you use without oil and just in like it's almost like baking something, that's fine. So air fryer is 